For factorization, a very important thing is follow this order. We have to check is there any common factor, and then if not, then we check is that identity format. If not, then you we use the last resort, which is cross factorization. So here, there is no common factor, and it is not identity. It's because three is not square term. So we have to use the last method, which is the cross factorization. It's a process to guess a plus something times a plus something. So we think about what time what will give us negative three. We may think three times positive positive three and negative one. So it's fulfilled the first requirement. Now the second requirement. It seems like we expand it, and then we see the a term is that the same as the question here. So if we expand it, we have negative a. We have a times positive three, so positive three a, which give you positive two a. Then you think here, oh, it's not the same term. That means this combination is wrong. This guessing is wrong, but it's quite close because both of them is two. So we just change the sign, negative three times positive one. So it's also fulfill the first requirement. The second one is a positive a minus three a is give negative two a. So that's why this is correct combination. Our factor is a minus three. Together with a plus one. That's how you factorize it.、Uh, of course, you may use calculator to find out. Assume is equal to zero, and then find out the roots and trace it back. And then part B. A B square plus B square, and then it's obvious the last three term is exactly the same in part A. So we separate the two group. The second group, we just apply our first part answer. It give you one method mark. And then the second part, we just look at this. Is there any common factor? We have common factor b square. So we extract b square, and then we have to write down what is left vertically below. First term, take out b square. Only a is left. Second term, take out b square. Only positive sign is left. That means positive one. After that, we have two terms. The first term here, the second term here. We have to check is there any common factor. So in this term we have b, and also we have bracket a plus one. In this term we have bracket a minus three. We also have bracket a plus one. So it's obvious that our common factor is bracket a plus one. We just do the same to extract common factor. We write down the common factor in left hand side. And then we prepare bracket to write down what is left inside. For the first term, we take out this bracket. B square is left. That's why I write down vertically downward. And for the second term, where we remove this bracket, positive bracket a minus three is left. That's why we write down positive bracket a minus three. You should write down the bracket here. Is because when you remove the bracket, maybe it is affected by the sign outside. But in this case. Ah,、uh, what outside the bracket here is positive. So when you remove this bracket, everything just time positive one, no change at all. A is still positive A. Negative three is still negative three. And then finally, you have to double check: is there any parts that you can further factorize? This one we can't factorize. This one, even though we have b square, but b and a are not the same thing, so we can't further factorize. Then you can consider this one is your final answer in question two.